Um, and it was kind of thunder and lightning uh, with him and Pruitt back there. Um, but, man, he busted his tail. Okay, Both these guys and Carson uh, and some of the other younger guys, Justice and some of those guys, the work they put in on developing specifically their speed, not only their strength, really showed up on film. And, uh, and if you can remember back, I think you probably remember this. I remember uh, between your sophomore and junior year, we had you out and you hadn't, I don't think maybe you had the points, you had to do extra conditioning, you had to run the laps. Okay. Uh, and do you remember there was a time when you were running the laps and you just didn't think you could make it and, and you're pretty emotional and and uh, I remember this because it was you and I and it yeah. just pushed you through that and, and you know what, you can do this. You can do this and you've never, I don't think, pushed yourself through that point of can I do this or not? And you did that day on the track doing those laps and and then from there I saw what you, what you what you turned into in terms of a guy that just worked hard. Um, you had some natural ability, but you had to work to bring it all out. And you did that. And I'm so proud of what you did there. So I'll read what it says about Malik. Okay. It says, uh, the amount of work that Malik put in preparing for his senior season was remarkable and it paid off in a big way. In his COVID shortened four game season, he had over 700 yards rushing and receiving averaging 11.3 yards per carry and scoring 14 touchdowns. He was on pace to shatter multiple LHS records. His career average yards per carry is a ridiculous 10.3 yards per carry. Malik's power, speed, and agility are rarely seen in one player. Um, so yeah, in his career, uh, over 1,100 yards rushing, 16 touchdowns, uh, caught 10 passes for 155 yards and two touchdowns. And again, that's really in a season and a half. And, and uh, if you add, you know, eight to 10 games to that, which he could have had with a deep playoff run, uh, 2,000 yard season in the backfield, I think is very well, like, like more likely than not would have happened. Okay, I think pretty much all the Lakewood rushing records for the season would have fallen to Malik. So, did a phenomenal job and super proud of you. Can't wait to see where, where things take you, you know, uh, heading off uh, to College of the Desert and where you go from there, uh, because that's, with the junior college, his plan is to play there and then see what four year he can transfer into from there. And uh, I'm expecting big things, super proud of you. So congratulations, Malik. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Thanks. So, Derek, anything you wanna say? And you can take your mask off while you talk if you'd like. I mean, just kind of enjoy like being able to play and just enjoy being able to play at that stadium and get to hang out in the locker room and just enjoy high school. Like enjoy being able to work out and hang, work out with your friends and not have it not like a job because it's fun that way too but just like it's just more freeing you know you just get to play you get to work out with your friends you get to play with your friends that you've been with since you were little kids so just enjoy that moment when you get to play Malik? Um, keep grinding um, I mean that's all you can do all right, very good. <laughs> Any coaches have anything you want to add about these guys? Miss them. Yep. No doubt, yep. no doubt. All right, well, thank you. Congratulations.